Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we have a 2021 Ford Explorer base model. So I'll show you guys what you get on the base Explorer. And this one stickers for $33,470 and it has no options on it. First, starting off on the front, you have this matte black plastic grill instead of the shinier ones that you get on the higher end models. And you don't have LED daytime running lights that run across the top like you do on the other high end models, but you do have LED headlights and turn signals. And the fog lights are blocked out on this one because it doesn't have fog lights. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, we have 18 inch rims on 255, 65 R18 tires. It's both the same in the front and back. And this car is rear wheel drive with 300 horsepower, 300 torque. It gets 21 MPG in the city and it gets 28 MPG on the highway with a 24 combined rating. All right, looking at the back, one of the easiest ways to tell it's a base model is that it doesn't say anything on the back. But as you can see on base models, it does have this groove right here on the interceptors. That's for when you have a manual lift gate. But this one being a civilian model has a power lift gate. So I'm not sure why they kept that there, but still get rear parking sensors and a backup camera. And you also get blind spot monitoring in the mirror. And the roof does not have a roof rack on it. It's just a slick top. All right, coming to the inside, you have power windows for all four windows. And the front two are automatic up and down, just like on every other Explorer model. These are the only seat option. So unfortunately you can't get um, black seats in a base model, but you do have the power driver seat. It's a six way power driver seat. All right, stepping inside. See the steering wheel is the same design, but it isn't wrapped in leather like it is on every other model. Coming to the center stack, you still have dual zone climate control and automatic climate control. Come down here, this all looks the same. And you have uh, your auto start stop off, traction control, and this is the change between the different drive modes. So as you can see on like the door panel, like right here, it doesn't have the bright finish like it would on an XLT. This is kind of a darker finish. The key is like this, the switch blade key, and it does not have push button start. So you do have to turn it that way. And you don't have keyless access to get into the door either. And as you can see here, all Ford Explorer models come with the Sync 3.4. And look at the gauge cluster. This is the biggest difference right here. This looks like the gauge cluster does on the EcoSport and most of Escape models. So you have pretty much the same uh, options and everything, but um, it does look different. It doesn't have the bigger screen in the middle. No sunroof, of course, but you still have all LED lighting on the inside. And you just have a normal mirror. It's not an auto dimming mirror, just a regular one with day and night mode. All right, opening up the back seat, you can see this one has the three seats. And you also have the third row back there. And you still have climate control for the back seats. They're just not heated, but you still have your, uh, your 12 volt there. And, oh, looks like you have two 12 volts. You don't have the house outlet like on the higher end models. And you have two cup holders has a pretty good amount of leg room. And you have a cup holder here too. All right, opening up the trunk, it is power. And you still get the same amount of great room that you do in all the other Explorers. And just to show you guys how easy it is to fold down a seat, just pull up on here and just drop it forward. It's that easy. This is with a third row seat folded down. And this one has a manual passenger seat. It's not power like on the higher end models. And just a heads up, it does sit up higher than the lowest position does on a power passenger seat. So if you're really tall, you will be sitting way up in the ceiling without being able to push that seat down. Let me know what you guys thought of my video on this 2021 Ford Explorer base model. If you guys like what you see, please like the video, subscribe for more content on Ford vehicles and my own car. And I'll see you guys in the next one.